Hey everyone, this is Rich Formadoni from Korg USA. I am back in the Korg studio and this time I'm lucky enough to have an M388 sitting behind me. And the reason I've got this guy is because I want to talk today about the M3's piano sounds and how to get the most out of them. The M3 by itself comes with some terrific sounds, but here's the game changer right here. M3 Expanded. If you have an M3 and you haven't gone online to download your free Expanded update, please, please do that. It is free. It gives you sound expansion libraries, including a beautiful new piano and uh, all kinds of other cool upgrades that you can check out in another one of my videos. So you can also get a PDF version of this supplementary guide right here. But for now, let's check out these M3 pianos. Okay, after you've finished your M3 expanded update, you should have this USB stick with all the expanded data on it. Make sure that's plugged into the M3 while you turn it on. Now, after it finishes powering up, you'll have this Stereo Grand 4-Way 1 EX3 piano to play with. It's the very first program in the M3, and it sounds pretty good. So it's a beautiful piano sound. It's very expressive and dynamic, and I'll show you why. I'll push the Page Select button, and then touch OSC slash Pitch on the display. Now, here I can see the four samples that I'm working with. Uh, there's a fortissimo, a forte, a mezzo forte, and a mezzo piano sample. Now, if I jump over to oscillator 2, I can see there's one sample, a multi-sample, for the piano damper. So not only is it simulating the, uh, the piano strings, it's also doing the rest of the instrument as well. Now, check this out. If we go over here to the Velo Zone tab, we can actually see where all the four different layers for the piano string samples are. And you can customize where these all sit. So, for example, if you want this second layer from the bottom to come in a little sooner, you can go back to this Oscillator 1 basic tab here, and what we're looking for is the Mezzo Forte sample, and you can decide what the bottom velocity is. And a great way to do this is to actually hold down the Enter key and play the velocity that you want it to come in at. So I've just used a very low one, go back to velocity zone and you can see the difference right there. So that's a great way to customize it and also don't forget about the global velocity curves. You can see here I'm just going to go push the global button and then back on the display right over here you can see velocity curve. Right now it's set to 4. You can actually select from 9 different curves. The ninth one is brand new in the M3. If you touch number 9, it basically gives you a velocity curve that has much more dynamic range in the lower region of the velocity scale. So if you play light, if you use very soft dynamics, you're going to find curve number 9 is especially useful for you. Now here we are in front of one of my favorite parts of the M3, the multifunction control surface. Eight sliders, eight buttons, tons of control. There are five different modes that you can put the control surface in. Mixer, real-time control, external, tone adjust, and karma. We're going to look at real-time control. And this is where you are by default when you select a program or combi. And this is a very good thing. I'll show you why. The first four sliders are always going to be cutoff, resonance, envelope intensity, and release. The second four sliders are going to be doing different things for each program or combi that you select. So, for example, this one. Attack. And this guy. Decay. Chorus. And the middle is zero on that one. And the last one. reverb. So you always have your ambience level right there. You can dial in as much or as little as you need. And you'll find that to be consistent on most of the sounds in the M3. This row of buttons allows you to individually turn on and off the effects. So your first five are your insert effects, then stereo master effect one and two, and then your stereo total effect. Now I'm going to jump, first off I'll push reset controls, hold that down and press the real-time control button and that resets it to the way it was when we first selected the sound. Now I'm, I'm going to jump over to mixer mode and show you something else that's very cool. 
When you're in mixer mode in a program, you can actually isolate the different oscillators. So this first one is going to be oscillator one, that's the strings. Leave that up. And oscillator number two is the damper. And I want to hear by I want to hear that by itself. So I'm actually going to slide that guy back down and hold the damper pedal. And if you let the pedal go, you can hear the sound stops. Now also, don't forget about the left side of your M3 where there are some very useful controls as well. The ribbon is functioning like an EQ. And the cool thing there is, because you'll obviously have to take your hand off the ribbon, we've set switch 2 to be a lock. So you can find the sweet spot. just leave it there. With switch 2 pressed, it'll always remember where your finger was. Switch number 1 is an octave switch. And don't worry about having to grab these controls and accidentally pitch bending here, because the pitch bend for the piano has been turned off to preserve the realism. Also, don't forget about XY mode. That does some very cool stuff with pianos. Turn on XY mode right there, play a chord, and move your finger around the screen. So as we move between uh, up and down, we get a cool modulation delay, and left and right. It's doing some filtering. Now, if there's a sweet spot that we like here, we can actually press the hold button, and it'll stay the way you left it. Now, the cool thing here is you can actually save the program with XY mode and the hold button engaged. So if you find a certain spot that you really like, you can save it that way, and next time you call up that particular program or combi, it'll already be turned on and ready to play with. Here's another way to squeeze a lot of different sounds out of one piano program. Touch the control surface tab in the bottom right-hand corner of the screen. Then, under control assign, change that to tone adjust and you can also get there by pressing the tone adjust button on the left side of the control surface. Now the control we're looking at here is pitch stretch and just by adjusting this a little bit you'll get an entirely different piano sound. Lots of different sounds can come out of just that one program. And that's a really neat little bit of trickery there. It's simultaneously detuning and transposing the samples that are being played. So as you can see, the M3 has some really stunning piano sounds, and uh, the technology in the M3 really allows you to squeeze lots of life out of a single program. Thanks very much for watching. See you next time.